Hi, I'm Colin McGurran, chef patron of Wintering and Fields Restaurant up in North Lincolnshire. I'm here today, Siemens Home Connect Kitchen, demonstrating a beautiful roast pork belly dish, pineapple and satay. The first part of this recipe is obviously the pork belly, and what we're looking for is a fantastic crackling. Okay, so the crackling needs to be light and crisp, not heavy and dense that you're gonna break your teeth on this. So the secret to do that is this. The first thing we have to do is score the skin, but not going straight through to the fat, we're scoring just the skin. Once I've scored the skin, I wanna try and get some salt in there. What the salt's going to do is bring out the moisture, and that's the key part of this dish. So it looks like I'm putting a lot of salt on, but don't worry because I'm gonna be washing it off when all the moisture comes to the top. So we're gonna leave that for about 20 minutes. Okay, so you can see just after 20 minutes how much liquid has come out of the, of the pork. And that's exactly what we want. So the only thing next to do now is to brush off all that excess moisture with the salt. The final thing to do is we pour some oil over the top, rub the oil into the fat, which will again help blister the crackling. So I've got the pork salted, oiled, all ready to go in. I'm gonna place this at 200 degrees for an hour and a half. Okay, so the next part about this recipe is the roasted pineapple. The pork belly's been in for just under an hour. Now we want to add the pineapple. We're going to be roasting it to intensify the sweetness. So while I'm preparing the pineapple, I'm gonna set the oven to 180 degrees. Alexa, tell Home Connect oven to set to 180 degrees. So this pineapple is gonna go in for the last 20 minutes. With the other half of the pineapple, it's gonna be the salsa, which give it a lovely kind of acidity to the dish. Okay, so now the pineapple is just gonna go in for the last 20 minutes, 180 degrees. Okay, so on to the next component of this dish is the, the fresh pineapple. What we're going to do here is just simply dice the pineapple. Okay, so now for the coriander. The coriander is just gonna be nicely shredded and that's gonna be tossed through the fresh pineapple. So that's the pineapple and coriander salsa. The next thing is the satay. So now we're gonna finish everything up by making the, the satay. We're going to start with the oil in the pan. The pan's relatively hot, but not too hot because we just want to saute the onions and garlic. So they go in next. So a couple of minutes of sauteing the onions and garlic. The next thing to go in will be the soy sauce. And that's going to slightly reduce also. Okay, the next thing we have smoked chili flakes. Not too spicy, but a lovely smokiness and depth. Bind all that together. We're going to dissolve some of the brown sugar and then we're going to add the peanut butter. And the peanut butter just adds that consistency that is all familiar with the satay. And now we're ready to add our coconut milk and just add it bit by bit until you're happy with the texture. So now that's the satay done, just transfer this into a bowl, we're ready for plating up when the pork's ready. Okay, so now for the exciting part, the carving of the pork. You can see now that the pork has got lovely blistering to it. The sound of this crackling, just amazing. And I think this oven's done a really good job in creating such a fantastic crackling. What we want to do now is just cut a nice big wedge of pineapple. So now we've got all our components, we're ready to plate up. So there we have it, we have our roast pork belly with crackling, homemade satay, textures of pineapple. Thanks for watching.